But the Israel Project, the film reveals, uh, was running a major effort, uh, inf a major covert influence campaign on Facebook. And this is really remarkable. Uh, what, they, what they did is set up uh, pages or communities on Facebook. Some of them have hundreds of thousands, uh, half a million or more uh, followers. And uh, one of them, I actually, I should have, I don't know if we have uh, the ability to project from the internet, but uh, I should have thought of this. But um, uh, one, one of them puts up uh, really cute pictures of kittens and donuts. Uh, here's one of the actual Israel Project donuts. This is a black and white image, but it's really pink. It actually looks toxic. It looks like it would kill you if you ate it, because <coughs> no food is, is naturally that shade of, uh, of uh, uh, you know, hot pink. Uh, but it actually describes itself uh, as, uh, you know, on the about section of, of, the, of the Facebook community. It's called Cup of Jane. And it describes itself as sugar and spice and everything nice. What it tries to do is to establish progressive credibility by posting not just pictures of kittens and donuts, but also uh, photos and quotations from such uh, black female icons as uh, Maya Angelou and Ida B. Wells. Um, there are also posts about uh, the groundbreaking environmentalist Rachel Carson, and uh, even about Emma Gonzalez, who along with her classmates, launched a national campaign for uh, gun legislation after surviving the uh, Parkland School Massacre in, uh, Flor uh, in Florida. But woven into this stream of progressive flavored fluff are attacks on actual progressive movements and uh, pro-Israel propaganda. Uh, for example, a posting in October 2016 uh, attempted to portray Israeli militarism as cute and empowering. They actually posted a photo of a, an Israeli F-16 fighter jet uh, painted pink. Pink is a very important color to the Israel project. And it says, and then the post said, the Israeli Air Force has painted fighters in pink in aid of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. <laughs> How cool is that? Uh, and then it adds, this is fierce. Women, by the way, need an Air Force all their own. So feminist. <laughs> of course, uh, at the same time that this is going on, dozens of women in Gaza uh, documented to have died uh, in, uh, due to Israel's siege, denying them uh, potentially life-saving treatment. And, uh, uh, dozens of cancer patients, I should say, many of them women, uh, documented by the World Health Organization to have died because Israel would not allow them out of the Gaza ghetto to obtain life-saving treatment. But this is the propaganda that Cup of Jane is pushing.